Before we dive into today's episode, top comment is a link to the Humble sale, which will give you 50% off of all DLC. It's my partner link. I get a little bit of a kickback at no additional cost to you guys, but I, I never do sponsorships on this channel. I've literally turned on every single sponsorship I've been offered. For things like this, though, you guys actually do get something out of it. You know, it's not me like shilling some shitty product I don't believe in, given that I've got 4,000 hours in CK2. So go check that out if you're interested and if you want some cheap DLC for CK2. Welcome to the mighty adventures of the Saxophone Dynasty, currently under Boris Doherty, Mark Von Archibald, a man who has returned us back to our original landed title of, well, technically we have the city of Damascus, so no, we're technically not really home, but we are. We have Damascus back, the city of Extreme Testoster Town, back under the control of the dynasty that founded it in the first damn place, the way it should be. So there was a comment yesterday that kind of piqued my interest. Somebody said, what about a full Jewish Byzantine Empire run? And I thought, that's a really cool idea, because the de jure empire of Jerusalem, obviously we'll, we'll, we'll go back there, form Israel, get independence, whatever, there isn't really an empire tier title for it. It's it's Arabia, which when I'm not super invested in, because of course we have to take the whole of the Arabian Peninsula, and then we've got to head down through Egypt too. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think it really suits the thing either, especially as Egypt right now is Kemet, really? Oh, nice. They're, they're, they're Catholic, that's weird. Uh, and the Knights of Corsica, for some reason, have Northern Africa. Do they have Corsica? They do have Corsica. Here. I did just want to double check that. So I'm not really committed to that. Plus, our character has never has no real affiliation with Arabia besides apparently just Jerusalem itself. So that would be kind of cool. But right now, when you consider it, Jerusalem is fully surrounded by the Byzantine Empire. That could be a fun playthrough. Let me know what you think about that one. I don't want the series to go on for a thousand years. The cool thing is that also ties into our secret society play, assuming they're still in the game. If not, I can put them back. It's no big deal. Um, but that, that also ties into that, that we can stay in the Byzantine Empire, try and get as much of Jerusalem as possible. Obviously, try and forge the kingdom of Jerusalem under the Byzantine Empire maybe go for independence or turn that, that that kingdom of Jerusalem into the empire of Jerusalem with the Byzantine lands. That could be a very fun playthrough, but the secret society would allow us to spread the seeds of the religion throughout their realm without them even realizing it's happening. So this could be a really cool, more intrigue-based religious playthrough as well there. So again, let me know if you're interested, because that's going to be a hell, of a, a hell of an endgame goal to go for. So then, uh, I want to carry on with this society for the time being. I'm not interested in starting the secret society quite yet, because we wouldn't really get much out of it besides probably being executed. So I want to get the general opinion plus 20 of the plus plus three so more people are likely to join our plots then we'll kill who we need to to get into the position that we need to and that is obviously a powerful unified jerusalem we'll try and get all the borders together with us in command of it if we have the byzantine empire as our liege at that stage doesn't really matter you know we'll be able to keep ourselves relatively safe i think so oh the question is though does the byzantine empire allow for kingdom title creation um title creation where, where am i blind uh that's CK2 Plus, and I'm going crazy. This is the problem with playing too many total conversions. My god. Anyway, so we're going to start wars with uh, Jerusalem proper right now, which is apparently under the kingdom of Jerusalem, but it is all owned by the Diapiano dynasty. There's a couple of, obviously, provinces in the very, very northern part of, the part of uh, Jerusalem that isn't owned by them. Let's go to war with our rivals. Today, it's, it's the culmination of destroying the other evil half of our dynasty. So, should we start fabricating claims? We can obviously border dispute, but that is very costly. So I'm going to start fabricating claims. Where is Jerusalem proper? It's here, right? Yeah, let's start fabricating claims on the Jerusalem proper. Try and get a duchy level claim, because that will give us access to so much shit. Uh, and the Byzantine Empire have none of it right now as well, so that would kind of work. And then Ascalon, they have, but we could go to war with our fellow vassal at that stage. Oh, but they're under another vassal. We'd have to get independence from our current liege, become an independent duke, well, or become a duke directly under the emperor, and then go to war with them. Otherwise, we can't do it, because they have to be a liege of, obviously, our vassals. It's going to be very complicated setting all this i don't care about her it's gonna be very complicated to set all this stuff up but it should be doable now thing to do today i've got to remember this do not spend any money because yesterday i threw all the money at every problem we've ever had it gives us general opinion minus 10 we owe money lands and astronomic debt that also gives the the local build cost modifier plus 20 percent we're losing prestige per month i need to be very careful about how we approach this problem so we're not going to spend a single penny we're going to be very careful unless we fabricate a claim at which point i'll take it because obviously that's kind of rare what's the chance yearly 16% chance yearly, so still like around six years before we get a claim either on the duchy or the county, uh, sorry, county or the duchy if we're very lucky there. What's our option? What do we got here? Um, oh, right, so obviously I've marked repay the loan as high priority because it absolutely is high priority. Pray. Pray that we can... Learning favor. Well, that's not going to help me with my debt, is it? Imprisoning this guy, mate. 81%. Get him in prison. Ah, oh, shit. I should have moved our... I sh oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I was going to say I should have moved our, uh, our, our marshal there, but I think he already is, isn't he? 
Uh, oh, I got him trained troops instead. That makes a lot of sense, given that we went to given that we went to war. A troubadour and his wife, the Toe by Ritz, have arrived from Rocketania. I don't know what it says. Their performances range from the vulgar satires to the political servi servants and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. I remember those two. They came in last year, or they'd be well paid. Gain charitable. Ooh. Um, that's good when we are an underhanded, scheming, murderous man. Just because of the diplomacy it will give us? Makes people like us a bit more. We could use charitable, our charitable nature to get everything we need. That's a good plan. Let's do it. Oh my god, we already had charitable. You moron! I just gave them money for free! <sighs> well, I guess he is charitable, and I did say we would roleplay this guy, so... Hey, accidentally doing exactly what I said I would do yesterday. Uh, my sister vanished without a trace. Oh my god, because she's an unmarried woman, she hit 40. So generally the game's like, well, she's useless. Okay, that's not fun at all, because she was our educator. Oh, fuck you, game. I, I, that's my bad for forgetting to marry her off, but my god. Okay, um, have we got any unmarried members of our dynasty then? Right, let's reset all. Let's load filter. I, I, I apparently haven't set any up. My religion, my culture. Um, you know, I'm not even going to bother do that. I, I was going to say we'll, we'll go full board everyone who's like us and matches us but you know i'm just gonna do great house my dynasty fuck it and then married no and then we'll save that as a filter one okay uh so benjamin our brother is unmarried that's not gonna that's not gonna fly my man let's go for you know high stewardship so we can find someone who's got high stewardship also oh she'll do they're actually up for it my god we get some prodigies into our dynasty very nice then we've also got yol of londor our cousin let's arrange marriage between you and Literally anyone at court. She'll do. Why not? Fuck it. There you go. Boom. Okay, so that should hopefully bring in some more members of the saxophone dynasty. Real shame about our sister. I wish I'd have noticed that before it happened. That that fucking sucks. And then Marguerite Mayfair Jones Clapham is our current heir, and she's of course quick. She's not coming out too well, I'll admit. Haughty is arguably the worst childhood trait in CK2, besides maybe in London, I guess. And then affectionate is not fantastic either. But given that we're training her in diplomacy, kind, content, or trusting, kind is the only good outcome there. That's not fantastic. Oh, we have prisoners. Right, because we went to war. Ransom them out. And then this guy banishing for 95 gold. My god. Okay, we'll have this loan paid off in no time in that case. What's our monthly balance now then? 43 gold per month. Very good. I guess, uh... What was it like then? What was Damascus bringing in in terms of cash? Oh, we don't have to recently modify... Oh, but we are looted. Oh, that's probably my bad. Um, that's not bad. That's like total ca yearly counter tax is pretty good there. Oh my god. Karate is losing his fucking mind of some sort of gift he's supposed to get for his leech. Give him a hand, will ya? Absolutely. Of course I will. Let's accept this job. What have I got to do? Yeah, this sounds like it's going to cost me money. There is the wife, our brother. She came out pretty well. She's got homosexual, which is minus 15, but she's also lustful, that gives her a plus 20. So overall, she's really good. Fortune Builder also gives her 10% fertility. And more importantly, she's a prodigy. Six to everything. Realistically, we should be trying to marry ourselves to her, but... Yeah, that's fine. So we're away from court just to go and help out with this gift. Hopefully we'll be back soon, but hopefully we'll be back with some more diplomacy as well to help out with some of our plots here. Um, oh, nice. Well, we can try and get patient out of it. You've got to help me. I was supposed to get a gift to present to Bay Kutalmis at court tomorrow, and I've nearly run out of time to find something. You've got to come with me to market. As long as it doesn't cost us anything, that's fine. Chance of us also removing Wrath, which gives us minus one to both diplomacy and intrigue. Not really helping the character at all. Fuck it, please. Come on. Come on, game. I believe. You coward. You absolute coward. Karate and I trudged through the rents of the market and split up. I can see why she was having such trouble. Is this going to cost money? It's not. Okay. Uh, is this who we're buying it for? Oh, no. This is... So this is the guy we're helping out. So this is the guy we're buying it for? I think so. Um, he has high stewardship. So maybe that will do it. A beautiful gold lace map of all known lands. That sounds to be the perfect gift. Here, I declare, pushing the package into his arms. That ought to do it. He thanks me, me breathlessly and runs off. Next evening, as I'm prepared to return home, Karate strides up to me. What is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, what were you thinking? Now I've got a mess to clean up you can't even imagine here for all your trouble. Gives me some gold. Uh, we've become a bit of rival. We get some gold out of it, so... Oh, my God. It must... I don't know if there's a correct answer to that, or maybe it is semi-random. God knows. Oh, shit. So we can... Spend oh, 39.4 gold. To be fair, we've paid off a mountain of our debt so far. Like, we've already paid off a crazy amount, so it shouldn't be much to worry about here. Oh, there's money a debt. I'm going to pay to correct this, because if we don't, I believe we lose the stone quarry in Laodicea. Uh, I'll pay what it takes to correct this, because we've got a lot of money out of that. That basically bailed us out in the war yesterday. What the fuck do you mean she's got the plague? Oh my god, the plague came back, didn't it? I completely forgot. To my credit, I think this is the fourth time we've had it. So... Oh, bollocks. Um, I must find a court position. Pause. Close the gates. That's completely my bad. I completely forgot about it. Fuck. 
We can't even close the gates. Oh my god, because we're right through court, so we wouldn't have been able to close the gates either way. Phew, I'm saved. Not my problem. Well, I mean, it is my problem. I should have closed it before I left. Uh, do you want to read our daughter, the Torah? And in Dutch, I believe she secretly becomes Jewish then, doesn't she? Uh, load a, a cart with... Oh my god. Traveling unit. He's a renowned physician. Yeah, bring him to court. Okay, not too bad. I should have just hired whoever we had in court, realistically, but that's okay. Um... Yikes, my bad. When are we home so I can slam these bloody gates shut? She got sympathy for Judaism, so that is at least a start. If she survives it, though, we'd never have to worry about this again. So, stewardship is technically the best education here, so I'm going to go for that one just because uh, she had two positives and one negative. That is slightly better than one positive, so it's going to educate her, though. Uh, patient and diligent nobody. Oh, I spelled diligent wrong. That doesn't help. Ibrahim is also shrewd. Please. Oh, my God, he's also about to die of the plague. Don't. Severe illness. We've got successful treatment. You will live as well. I believe in you. Uh, court physician. Can I not call for him? Oh, because we're away from court. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was unlucky that we got that quest when we did. I should have declined it. And she's dead. Our heir is now our brother, who is also probably about to die. God damn. Oh, and we're about to die too. This is horrible. Uh, We've got three living members. Who's the other living member? I'll make it. I'll Rika Mary Theater. Yol of Londor. We're going to end up playing as Yol of Londor. He's not bad. My god, that would be weird. Um, playing as Ulrika Mary Theodosia's daughter, uh, son. So Mary Theodosia's granddaughter's, so great-grandson then. Wow, what a fucking mess. Because we're about to die and our brother has already got the plague. I don't think he's going to live. Thinks he'll probably have rabies. Dimmy. Yeah, Dimmy by fucking name. Dimmy by nature says the man with the plague. Yeah, we should let him treat us. That's a great idea. On the plus side, for every a uh, saxophone that's dying, a Diapiano dies too. So how many of them are there? Three living members. We are going blow for blow right now. Oh my god, what if we both have to die at the same time? Dimmy hesitantly suggests that you are probably infected with, brace yourself for it, the bubonic plague. How'd you work that one out, Dimmy? All in favor of firing Dimmy. Also, he has the plague, so I feel like this probably isn't the safest bet. And by fire Dimmy, I mean like, you know, wooden oil fire Dimmy. I think he's dead. I think he's about to be fired from reality. Strapped me for a chair and had you uh, sleep sitting upright for days. Did not help us with anything. He lives? No. No, 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 no. No, get my last act of vengeance. Oh, shit. Okay, fine. We'll see what happens. My life's in. He might be able to cure us. You know, experimental treatment might work, might work wonders. If he does an experimental treatment and it cuts off our entire dicker and balls, we are definitely, definitely playing as our cousin, Yol of Londor. <gasps> the treatment was successful, but I paid a heavy price. And in my opinion, this is the best. This is the best outcome from the experimental treatment. We gain Lunatic, the mad strategos of Damascus. Holy shit, we survived the plague, but it cost us everything. Now what we need to do is say goodbye entry focus temporarily. Let's go family focus. Let's... Come on. My man just can't catch a break. Now his wife's going to die too. Well, you never know. We might get lucky. Anyway, we need a Babby as soon as possible. Uh, oh, our brother survived too. Holy shit. Wow. I didn't want him to survive, but that's okay. Benjamin Viscount Sodding Soddingbury Ofe is not really, not really material for ruling, is he? Oh my god. Wait, what's the Al Mashaka? Is that the duchy or the county? I have no idea. It's got to be the county for 379 gold. Although we are in the middle of a plague. So that generally implies that we would... Hmm. It was the county. I thought so. I was going to say, we couldn't have lost that much money due to the disease and everything. Cool. Okay, so we got a claim on Jerusalem. That's pretty That's pretty significant. I think you got to agree. I want a claim on the Duchy of Jerusalem, currently held by Amir Julian the Rich of Jerusalem, who has fled to France like the coward he is. Won't even stand with his people during the final days. What do you mean he's a Catholic Frenchman? I mean, okay, fine. I guess he is standing with his people. But you see what I'm saying? He's abandoned the common folk, and we would never do that. Uh, oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I fall into the temptation of slothfulness. Uh, may God have mercy on myself, lose 10 piety. Well, we can trade 10 piety for diligent. Yeah, okay, good one. Family first. No, no. Vike, I'm sorry, but you seriously need to disappear. Should I kill him? We could send him to a mercenary company. Or we could make him take the vows. No, I'm going to marry him off again. I'm going to marry him off again. I'm going to be I'm gonna be kind to my brother. Now an ambassador, despite failing, I believe every single mission they've given us, right? Oh, we might have succeeded with the last, the one before the last one. So, obviously, the first one, the eulogy, we don't want to talk about that. The last one, obviously, we fucked up. I think we've fought past one mission so far. We've got Diplomacy plus two, and now General Opinion plus 15, which is massive. Levy size is down, build cost is down, build time is down. But now we aren't fighting people within our own realm. We're not going to be fighting people with 30,000 troops or whatever, I guess, unless they declare war on us. We want to get the Duchy of Jerusalem as soon as possible to cement ourselves over there, so we're not going to be targeted. Um... 
Cool. Okay. Uh, we still haven't unlocked the good side one, so we'll hopefully we'll get that sooner rather later so that we can become groomed, gain the attraction opinion, gain a kid, preferably. What was the other one? It allows us to lose... Was it stressed or depressed? That's really good as well. So I guess we can maybe target anyone with that. Um, yeah. Wow. We can target literally anyone with that. My God. Uh, and it... If we, does it actually just give us the... So it's 35% chance of them losing stressed. This might be guaranteed. Or is it the 35% chance we're all going through? I guess it... There we go. We can make allies by using our diplomatic skills to... We're offering therapy to other characters right now. Pretty ironic for the uh, slightly questionable man to be doing that. And with that, the last of the debt is now gone. Boom. Look at that. Zero gold, but... Oh, no, wait. There's another level of the debt. It's whether or not we want to pay it off. You know, put the money in the bank for the future. So it's minus three temple vassal opinion. Um... Nah, I don't think we need it. Granted, it did allow us to win that war without it. We'd have not only lost that war, we'd have lost everything. But bear in mind, that's what Mary Theodosius did as well, was rack up a massive amount of debt. You know what? I think I'll do it just to just to pay my just to pay my way, you know, to take some more money out of the system. But more importantly, just because it has saved us twice. Our courtiers seem to like us quite a lot. Uh, Benjamin Viscount Sonnenberg obviously doesn't because we've got all his titles. Uh, but besides that, everyone seems pretty happy with us. That's that's kind of impressive given that we've we've got the foreign culture, don't forget, as well. Um, and our opinion of Owlish is minus 76. We want the Kingdom of Anatolia. Oh, that does make a lot. Wait, she's got both? You greedy fuck. She's got Greece, she's got Anatolia and Epirus. She's basically got all of the digital kingdoms inside what would be your regular Byzantine Empire. That's quite impressive. Okay. Um, that's why I'm not going to lose any sleep over when we actually break free. The only issue is breaking free from her is going to be very difficult. She's got that much land. She hasn't got many troops, though. I guess people don't really like her too much. I mean, you've got to remember the whole plague thing as well. This is never really explained in, in the base game as well. But in CK2, when you get the plague... Oh, travels of Marco Polo. The Venetian merchant Marco Polo has finally returned to Europe after many years of traveling in the Far East. Because we're on the, the we're on the Silk Road now, we get told about that. A stunning tale, nonetheless. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is, is when you get the plague once in CK2, you can never get it again. You have an immunity to it from then on. So we're safe. Uh, for those of you screaming at me, close the damn gates. I'm just not going to bother. There's no need to. We've survived it. Our wife has survived it, but it's probably going to die anyway, unfortunately. And our brother survived it. Our cousin survived it. All the important people are still alive. Oh, no. Belisarios has, has died? 50% chance of getting depressed. Or oh, there's a chance we could get drunk. And of course, if we do get depressed, we can just cure it. But drunk is not so easy. Oh, we just get a new friend. Yeah, miss him. Welcome, my good friend. We're, we are the best of brothers and buddies and, and nutters together. Oh, God. China's open for business. Oh, shit. Okay. The Emperor dislikes Jews. Yikes. Okay. I guess we're not going to China. I feel like that's a bad... We're technically orthodox right now, uh, as far as the Emperor is concerned. But... Oh, should we go? I feel like we can impress him with our diplomacy skills. We spent a whole lot... We are an ambassador, after all. Fuck it. No, I'm going to China. Fuck this plague. We're leaving. Goodbye. Caravan has been cramped by the roadside the whole day. The sky is pouring over us with an unusually heavy rain. The whole situation has brought me thoughts to the memory of my late father, Archibald, Lord Windsor Flippetofty II. A great man. A great man who worked his way from nothing to get slightly more than nothing. He was a pious role model. Is that really what we're remembering him for? For being a pious man? Okay. Well, yep. Sure. Why the, why the fuck not? Okay. And claiming to be a lord has disappeared several years ago. Has found himself to, his, to my castle. We can take kind. Just for free. Um, we're diligent, we're charitable. We're wrathful, but wrathful and kind are not opposites. Um, envious is the opposite, but... Mm, I'm not sure. An old drunk thrown out because we have the wrath trait game. One marshal permanently. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's tempting. I mean, the character... We also lose... To, you know what? No, I'm playing the character. Because we have the wrath trait, we are going to take that permanent marshal. And I'm not just picking it because it's the best option there. Definitely not. Oh, nice. We got twice as much from the stone quarry. This is why I said we should have kept it, because look at that. We got another 100 gold there. Boom. So, I, I know I said I would pay off the loan as soon as possible. I did get a little bit caught up because we got a... Uh, we got the Diligent on Cost event that gives us minus 33% on build cost, so I thought we might as well embrace it while we've got it. But now I'm going to repay the loan, because it's only in our capital anyway, which is... Wait, no, it's not in our capital, because it's a character modifier. It's everywhere. But I'm going to pay off this debt anyway while, we were, while we're away from court. Having reached the glorious capital of the Yuan Empire, it only takes a few days before a group of ministers approach me. They they think I, as Orthodox, would be particularly interested in the section on revolving the vital breath. Um, absolutely, we would love to... Do we want to hear about that? Or do we want to use... T to be honest, I always used to go for whatever pleased the Emperor the most. But as... Uh, as I don't know, I've, I've been slightly more experienced with Jade Dragon now that it's been out for so long. It's never fucking worth it. The 30% the, the chance plus one stewardship is probably more worthwhile to us. What, what are we going to get, like, two points with China per month? That won't pay for anything. To be honest, I'd rather... I'd rather more likely get the stewardship. It's 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 unlikely, I should say, but... Ah, shit. 
Might reflect, might reflect on us. Don't mean, doesn't mean they're guaranteed. Fuck it. I'm going to go for the 30% chance of one stewardship. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. But to be honest, who really cares? Like I said, it's the difference between one and two favor per month. That's not going to make much of a difference. Oh, nice. Ephesus gets a local build cost modified down by another 15%. Oh, yikes. We should start building that place up then. Because that's, uh, that's got a hell of a cost reduction on it now. My God, look at how cheap some of these things are. Oh, hello. My guards and I have been making our way through the bustling market this morning. There is no shortage of business with these traders. Mmm, what's that smell? We can partake of the local cuisine. 50% chance of becoming a big old gluttonous boy. We can buy an artifact for 395 gold. Or, because of our high intrigue, we could make a trader disappear and happen to come across an artifact. This might reflect poorly on us in the eyes of the Emperor if he used to find out. Which he never will. What did we get? We just murdered a man over a small carved figure. Wow. 0 0.15 month prestige. Brilliant. She's Perganat, but have we not been away for, like, months? Qu questionable. Okay. Um, this cancer also gives a lower fertility, doesn't it? Minus 20%. Okay, cool. So we've got, potentially, a child out of this. We got, oh my god. Even with all of that, we still got the regular level of kowtow. Even though I did everything I could to piss off the Emperor. Fine. We lose 250 prestige, but it does not matter. Okay, wow, I can't believe that worked. We'll send him a unit then. Um, you know, I'm going to invite a bunch of people to court so we can send him on a nice, all-inclusive holiday to China. This guy is perfect. This guy is absolutely perfect. He's got Brawny. He's got Genius. He's got over 21 in his skill. He's got the highest education. She's also pretty good if we can... Oh, we can only send concubines, obviously, of your dynasty. I'm just going to invite a few people to court. Uh, worst case scenario is we keep him around. We breed him or, you know, we keep him on a council or something like that. My God, some of these characters are good. Oh, because of our general opinion is so high. Right, makes a lot of sense. So we've got a lot of allies now. Holy shit, she's insane. I hope we can get gender equality to get her as our diplomat because she's fucking nuts. Um, wow. Uh, should I change some laws? Marginal? They're allowed to hold the title of Mysticos, which is a bit pointless, but hey. It's a, it's a start to, to better characters on the council. Let's do it. We went from 12 to 20 stewardship right there. Let's get you... Should really see him overseeing the construction, things like that. Mr. Koss, uh... Oh, Mr. Koss is our spy master, right. What's that woman we invite with all the spy mastery skill then? Is it because he's our regent? No, we're home. Um, hmm. Very weird. Uh, women can hold the title of Mr. Koss. Maybe I didn't misread that. Um, I keep up behind the people in charge. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that said Mr. Koss, did it not? So that should be the... I feel like I'm going insane. Okay. Um, I guess she maybe just didn't come to our court. Maybe she hasn't arrived yet. Maybe that's more likely. Okay, we'll invite this guy instead then. That's a shame because she had like 28 intrigue or something crazy like that. Welcome. Okay. Um, God knows what's going on there. The game's having a, a bit of a strange day. Um... I'm fucking looking at the right. It doesn't have all the colors are all over the place because of cartographer. Anyway, Stefan, you are definitely a step in the right direction. Let's get you studying tech over in the capital. Um... You're okay, and then our cartographer. There she is. Oh, she had 20. No, she did have 25 intrigue. That's so weird. Oh, fuck knows what happened there. It doesn't matter. Um, give, give this guy. Right, so let's ship these people off to China. So send a eunuch. Uh, yeah, this guy was absolutely. Oh, this guy was worth the most. Oh, because the other guy was a commander. Do they want a commander? You want a. Hey, you want one of those commanders, though? Doesn't want a commander right now. Send an artifact. We could send our familial sword for 5,000 grace. I'm not going to do that, but we could go and steal someone else's sword and send that off to China for 5,000 grace, which. Yeah, I could be persuaded. I could be persuaded, definitely. Uh, what do we... Uh, like, the Basilius? Do you have anything? It seems like a terrible idea. Nothing. Um, the Queen of Thrace has Nightbane. We can't steal that because sh she's got it equipped. I'll see if I can find someone who has a spare Damascus sword that we can ship off. Look at this crazy fucking guy. He's got the Crown of Thorns, a Rash's Bow, a Damascus Steel Sword, Svarog's Hammer? Where did you get that? <laughs> and then he's also got a sword from heaven too. Fine. Steel artifact. My god, we could steal Svarog's hammer. That's quality five. Wow. I feel like sending the crown of thorns to China would just get us murdered no matter what. Let's steal Svarog's hammer. I mean, Willbreaker is 5,000, but that is a quality five artifact. It's unique. It's never coming back again. Let's do it. Who should we take with us to steal the mighty hammer? Um, 24. I mean, this guy with the 24 martial is a good choice because we've got decent diplomacy. We've got high intrigue and his diplomacy plus mine. Or his martial plus mine which means we can basically automatically pass those events. I'm going to take Solomon, my marshal. Arrived at Despot T Timuraz, the short changes capital. It's heavily guarded. Convince them to let us in with our diplomacy skill. Only 70% chance, but if we force our way in because of our marshal, our friends' marshal, 83%. Do it. You mother... Oh my god. Why? Okay. Fine. Fine. Beg for forgiveness. Lose... Oh my god, there's a lot of... I, mean, I think we should fight our way out, shouldn't we? 66% chance of successfully escaping. Uh, we can also... There's another 21% chance to stop. My god, so we've got like a combined 87% chance of escaping. We might get wounded. Not a big deal. Or we run away, um, which is s roughly the same. 
Uh, 14% chance, 15% chance of this one. This is the safest bet. Do it. Wow, we didn't... Oh my god, we did get wounded, though. Shit, we got unlucky with that. My god, and that's 250 prestige. Gone in the flash. Well, it's a simple guy called Theophilus there, because uh, it turns out the guy that was sent to China, I'd also set up as our uh, as our steward. We have a daughter, Tizvia. Bin oh, she's fucking incredible. She's got Boom Voice and Prodigy. Wait, as a mother got... We got that randomly. We got both of those randomly. Fuck me, that's insane. Booming, this character has an intimidating voice. Wah! Wah! Um, what do we want to give to her then? I'm thinking we'll go for... I mean, thrift is a bit unnecessary. Maybe just duty for conscientious. Diligent or temperate? We could go nuts with this character and go like proper battle grandma successor. Prodigy, booming voice already gives her martial as well and personal combat. You could be the next battle grandma. I'm going to go for it. I'm, I'm absolutely going to go for it. And you know what? Uh, Ulrika Theodosi Smythe Wellington. You are the true successor. One of our most... I'm so I'm so happy about that. Let's also make sure she's got a good guardian too. Are we any good? Um, look for a genius. I mean, genius plus diligent would be good. She's astute plus diligent, but I don't think that counts because I'm using the wrong version of my own fucking mod. This guy's incredible. Yeah, shrewd, patient, and diligent. Boom. Get to it, my friend. Wow. I have, I have every hope. We're going to keep a very, very close eye on her. Um, I can also try and gain 50 a bit. Does that actually work? Is that the first time that... Oh, no, it didn't work at all. Okay, fair enough. One of the most prominent nobles, Aladdin, wants us to deliver a polished eulogy for his deceased son, Aladdin. I'd like for you to handle this. You would not. You would absolutely not. You're a madman. Oh, okay. Uh, as is tradition, my wife Theodora underwent her church, and because of our high diplomacy, there's a chance we can gain kind out of this for... I'm, I'm going to do it, because, again, it, we've only got that available because of our high diplomacy. Let's play the character. We actually got kind. Damn it. Um, to be honest, I would have kind of preferred some martial like our diplomacy is already so high because uh we've we've got the high general opinion and high diplomacy basically does the same thing huh my god we've lost a lot of intrigue though haven't we yeah kind dropped us down by two points fuck <sighs> okay you know what? that's fine we've, we've got high diplomacy and high martial that's still good for ruler and then enough intrigue to keep ourselves alive i'm all right with that let's invest here then while the going is still good while it's still incredibly cheap uh barracks stables you know what we could do hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on uh oh i was gonna say we get a scholar bureaucrat but we can't afford it quite yet uh, we still need a thousand grace. Fucking hell. Uh, send him a gift. What do you want? Two thousand dollar dues. Absolutely not. Okay. In that case, we'll just invest on our own then. So I'm going to go for, um, training ground. Morale of armies. Love your enforcement rate is up. I should build one of those everywhere. I didn't realize we didn't have any. That's one of the first buildings I normally build. Uh, oh my God. We didn't even have one in the capital. Terrible. Then we'll also focus on upgrading Damascus. I want to get the fort limit high on this one. I want to get the garrison high on this one, just in case we do get sieged. It's taking a long time for our troops to get down here to reinforce them. So garrison, fort level, anything like that is going to be very useful. 2.5% is not massive, is it? 5% of fort level 1. I don't normally build stuff like this, but... Oh, levy size and garrison, though. And if we don't raise the levy, they'll stay as defenders. So here we go. I've arrived at the family's manor. I'm greeted somewhat coldly. Even the servants' curts, they bring me into the great hall. I know that the death is likely hanging over this family. Or we can... I can't sacrifice, even though it's funny, I can't sacrifice any more diplomacy. 20% chance of gaining humble. We didn't gain it. It doesn't really suit the character, so I'm all right with that. I sat with Aladdin for a while, talking gently about the dead. They weren't the kindest person in the round, but the family asked me to make them sound much better than they were. Agreed. There's no point speaking ill of them. We've learned our lesson from last time. Clearing my throat, I begin to read the work to the gathered. I see a few confused... Okay. A confused looks passing between family members, what I've written, but in the end, I've moved some to tears. We actually nailed it. 50% chance of us and... Oh, that's a cool little feature of Aladdin becoming close friends because we wrote a nice eulogy. We're going to get paid and there's... Come on, gain some of that diplomacy back. Nothing. Well, we passed. That's the important thing. And wounded is gone as well. My God, this is... What the fuck do you mean? During the transfer of power, we gained silver... We lost silver bracelets and engraved dagger. Somebody died. Somebody died and we got a skull trophy? What? What? No, wait, what? What the hell happened? Hey, let me check all the all these artifacts I'm pretty sure we had anyway. Um, yeah, we almost certainly did, didn't we? Who died? Solomon? And he had all of that stuff. Is he oh, maybe he had land and he lost it, because his father was a uh, was a count. Okay, fair enough. That's a shame. All, all those artifacts just gone to waste there, basically. If me groomed. All you have to do is fucking ask. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, we got groomed as well. A trash opinion plus 15. So that means all female rulers also get 15 opinion with us. Stacking up with all this other cool shit that we've got. So diplomacy plus three general opinion plus 20 at the next rank. How far are we at? So it's a thousand influence. So we're really not too far away from that either. Wow. Uh, one more mission and basically we've got it in the bag. Wow, that's so good. Okay. Um, I also want to pray. See if we get something out of that. Nothing. Well, fuck you too. That's basically all we can do right now. So why don't we... We'll have to also 
Whoa, 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 France? Oh, they must have changed their primary title from, yeah, okay, Jerusalem to France. Okay, uh, let's get our... Oh, he's still fabricating claims. He's just been ages since he actually got one. I'm going to send him back because it turns out he's been bribed at this stage to stop him uh, fabricating claims. Oh, she is so good. Is my wife okay? She's 34. She's incredible. Fucking hell. 26 and 20. She would make for a better wife. Uh, we're going to make a move on her. She, she screamed and made a fuss in front of my guards. Women, how dare she? <laughs> okay. Um, never mind then, I guess. All right. She, she's insanely good, and I kind of do want to keep her around, so we'll probably won't try that again in the future. I still can't believe we can't make her our spy master, despite that game promises. We can make certain women our spy master. Oh, that's our wife, though. You can always do that. Fuck knows. I guess the... the wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, I did it in the right province. Maybe... Oh, are we bound by the higher level laws, then? Oh, maybe, maybe we're bound. I'd never consider that. Maybe we're bound by the laws of Greece. Whoa. The sword of Jesus of France. Oh, they've taken back a nice big chunk of France again from the Aztecs. Or I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry I was considering getting rid of you. My God. Now, if we want Jerusalem, we've got to go to war with the whole of France. And how many men have they got? Only got 9,000. And to be fair, they would never bring the troops over here in time. And how many have we got again? 10,000? If we get some cash. Oh, my God. What is this this time? Consumption? If we get enough cash together... So stop spending money for a while. Stop building keeps and castle towns, whatever else. Another daughter? Nothing this time. Ah, garbage. Okay. Um, yeah, there you go. Ursula, Olympia, Ophelia, Flora, Mary. We didn't... Oh, I was going to say we didn't really do much with this character before I think she died, so I'm happy to give her that name. And we'll also train her in struggle, because this is... Uh, I'm going for full-blown Battle Grandma version 2.0, given what she did for our dynasty. Good got shrewd and genius. How does that work? Oh, it wasn't even our kid. Whose fucking kid was that? <laughs> is this my child? My liege, this is not your child. <laughs> we had a daughter, and then something bad happened. Oh, God, my wife's about to die. May God help her. Um, She is. She's fucked. She's like, actually full-blown dead. She's also apparently a bad person, so you know what? She'll burn in hell for eternity. My daughter, Chava. Chava, Bint, Boris, nothing. Um, I feel like I need to throw some more names into the mix, don't I? Oh, we've already got one that we haven't used. All right, that'll be the last time I recycle these names. I want to give these names a good a good shot at long last. After that, I'll start coming up with some fresh ones. We're going to go for... No, I can't go for another kid with struggle. We'll go for... Uh, we'll go for Thrift with you instead. She's infirm. I've never seen that outcome. Oh, my God. And she's got consumption. She is 100% fucking dead. Cancer, infirm, and consumption. It would be... It, it would honestly be a kind mercy to put her out of her misery at this stage. Holy fuck. Um, there you go. She's gone. Theodora, goodbye. You, you served the realm so well. What happened to that woman with high intrigue who turned us down? Now we're not giving her a choice. Oh, fuck. That's terrible. Um, search court. Reset all. Uh, there she is. Melissa, the troubadour. Join me. Jo join me. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, we should probably try and like win her over a little bit rather than just being a horribly awful man. Send her a gift. There you go. And then we'll also... Truth says... Will this work? This still didn't work. We've never once pulled that off. Uh, she'll convert, which should give us some opinion. Bear in mind, the, the, the demanded conversion will lower it for a little bit temporarily there as well. And then I'm going to swear. You know what? She's only 23. She's got some incredible stats. Now I think I can make her our spy master too. You're fired. Still can't. Maybe it's just that woman in particular that can't be a spy master, huh? She's looking at the wrong fucking one again. Okay, there we go. Right, boom. Look at that. 24. I'm also going to keep her at our court, not risk sending her to capital so she's not executed or, you know, castrated for stealing technology. Lose diligent? Never. He would never do that. Oh my god, we got stressed. But, hang on. Oh, wait, what's that power again? Solace. Targeted decision allows you to... Oh, in our realm, it doesn't work on us? Oh, no. That's not nearly as good as I thought then. Boy's got the 1300... Oh, it was almost that, that funny internet thing. 1,337, 38 gold. Okay, let's hire some troops. And let's kick France out of Jerusalem. We are going to take Jerusalem proper. We could even make it our capital, which I think would be bang on brand. That would be awesome to make that back into our capital. We'll obviously keep our other stuff like Damascus. And then we'll have Damascus and Jerusalem. What a weird combination. Uh, yeah, that's mine now. So here's what we're going to do. Even though we've only got a single county, it's owned by Diapiano, who is a vassal of Diapiano under... Is she Serbian? Why is she the Queen of France? I'm so... Anyway, uh, declare war. Claim Jerusalem. She's got 10,000. We've got 11,000. And I'm going to hire a whole army to help us out with this one. Let's... I'm not hiring the Romans. I'm never hiring the Romans. Uh, what are we looking at then? I want... I want good monthly cost that's not prohibitively expensive like all of these fucking guys are. Holy shit. Um, 85... Oh, I guess we'll go for like you. 32 gold per month for 8,000 troops. That's not too bad. 
Um, yeah, that's literally the best we've got. I'm going to go for that one. The Foresters Bandle. Um, oh, sorry, Band. Bandle. They've got a load of Berserkers, a load of Archers, and they've got a load of Light Infantry. So they are a Glass Cannon Band through and through. But with our troops, who are slightly more developed at this stage, we should be okay. We should be absolutely okay. 18,000 men. Make your own way down. They're not going to merge them as a big unit because of all the disease and shit that's going around. I'm just going to let them slowly sneak over. Ah, oh, the mighty French armies arrived. All 1,400 of them. Okay, good. Um... I guess we'll just go ahead and cut you guys off. Is that all that survived? Oh, fucking hell. There's another 10,000. I was going to say, that's unreal. Okay. Um, take them out. That's where, they, that's where they're going to... This is the hill you want to die on, huh? Go for it, then. No, stop that. There we go. We finally cornered him. Kill them all. Kill them all, and then I'll just keep them as one big stack while we move over to Jerusalem proper. There we go. I imagine the, the, the attrition is going to be horrendous here, but if we assault it down, that way we're also... This is, a, this is an okay tactic, because it means we're not paying for the troops as well. That's the important thing. My God, they've got a lot of defenders here. Oh, fuck, they're down to 14,000 already, huh? Yikes. What's the attrition? 10% a month? Are you a madman? I should. I, I could have picked any better time to go to war. To be honest, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword because they are lacking troops because all of their province is given disease, but it's going to make our sieging a lot harder because of the amount of disease. Either way, we'll get it eventually. Look, that's not too bad now. It, we're losing like a thousand troops a month now. That's not too terrible. Oh, hello. No, by the name of Zhao Wenguan came to court today seeking asylum. He is welcome to stay because, of course, we protect him. He may have a gift for us. No pressure. We're coughing. It's cancer. It better not be. You better be lying to me. My man beat the plague. My new wife. She got had by the consumption. Shit. Uh, what's this? Like our fucking fourth wife now? My god, man. What are you doing to them all? Uh, she's pretty good. Midas touched her last fall. Just to get as many kids as possible? Absolutely. I'm going for her. M oh, no. Not Elizabeth Ann Algernon Arabella Tabitha. Call for my court position at once. Oh, my god. The curse of dying young has struck once again. Oh, he's 49. I thought he was way younger than that. Um... His father died young of disease. His father died incredibly young at the age of 44. And then, of course, my God, none of them have had the same shelf life as Ulrika Mary Theodosi Smythe Wellington. Gain the trait cough. Uh, I think it's a bit more serious than that. My life's in your hands. Take the dicker and balls. He's treated us. We might be able to take the Holy Land yet. It's, oh, you've got you've to gotta, you gotta put yourself in the zone here. All you've got to do, survive long enough. And the Lord will cure us, my friend. My daughter, oh, fuck no. Consumption, she's got mild illness. Excellent, you've done it. You've done it. You madman, you've actually done it. She's got more health from being ill than she would normally. She is fine. She's absolutely okay. I really need to shut my fucking gates, don't I? My god. 15,000 angry Frenches? Okay, uh, could I, sir, please have some troops? Um, 73 gold per month is fucking insane. Fine. We can, we can, oh, we can obviously keep them around for a very long time, so it's not that big deal. How many fleets have we got? We're gonna have to transport them. Not quite, but if we have to split them in half, that's fine. It's probably also best for the you know, the, the the whole disease thing that seems to be fucking everywhere. Right, if we can get over there in time. Oh my god, that's a Byzantine province. Uh, One of our most... Oh god, they want us to deliver another eulogy. Fine, we'll do it. We're not leading troops anyway. Actually, I think we were. Right, watch this. They are, got, they are now moving a lot to Jerusalem. Take these troops, pause it, merge them, kill them. Oh, you fools. You made a terrible mistake. 22, and then we'll go Ibrahim, and then... Oh, I set the leader of the army. That sucks. Um... Then you go and pick up these other guys. There's another 5,000 troops that just got kicking around there. You get on the boats and then join us. That's going to be close. Oh, we actually got it. Fuck me. God damn, very hard is difficult. Well, I mean, okay. Haha, <laughs> very funny. That's the point. I get it. But my God, we, we outnumbered them so significantly then and they still kicked our ass. Okay, let's go for a stack wipe on them so we don't have to worry about them counter siege or anything like that. Intolerable, gain humble, whatever. No point speaking of the disease. We've done this before. I'm going to just quickly skip through this one this time. Time for me to head, to head home. There we go. We moved some to tears. Are we going to get the diplomacy? We didn't, but we succeeded. Can we now rank up? We can. We've just got to wait for the opportunity to become available. Ooh, the disease is gone. We've got the full 18,000 men in the in the Holy Land now. This is so good. This is why the, the, the merger of France and Jerusalem has worked so well. All of their troops are over in fucking France, and they're probably busy fighting off every other bloody war on the continent. Uh, is she? She is. She's also fighting a rebellion there. Uh, peasant Revolt for Orleans, so we are, we're safe. I mean, the Peasant Revolts are also massive this time around, so who are they? Oh my god, another Peasant Revolt? We need to be so careful we don't get hit by these, because I've set them to, like, the hardest difficulty possible, don't forget, so... Yikes, let's be careful. 95%. Am I going to burn the trade post down? Obviously. <laughs> what do you think I am? Some sort of person who doesn't burn trade post down? Right, let's, uh... I guess we'll not this one down. I'm just going to assault this. They're all mercenaries anyway. They should be able to pull that one off. Boom. 100%. Your boy yesterday took Damascus. We've got the fucking Holy Land back. And now, look at me. I am. I am king of Jerusalem. My god. 
My god, we are getting close to our end game goal. Now we've got to just rip apart the rest of the French provinces here. Take that back. Could we go to war with this guy? That's a real shame that we're still... Look at that. Slightly, slightly too far over. Maybe if I drop our levies? Maybe, maybe we do have some weird, like, Cassus Belli against him or something. We've got nothing. Yeah. Oh, we've still got raised army levies. Oh, we do. Shit, my bad. Um, we still don't have a Cassus Belli, though, so that's a shame. What I'm going to do then, uh, because we've... We've, we've got potentially more border disputes. I'm going to start fabricating claims here because I think the peasants are going to win win that one, kick him out. Then we'll take that. And then the goal is to obviously try and usurp the kingdom of Jerusalem. Thank you all for watching. A successful day. An incredibly successful day for the Asaxon dynasty. We defeated an Appiano. We've we've removed them from our lands. Well, they're right there. The traitors. The cowardice dynasty itself. Six of the members. We need to thin out the herd a little bit there. My god. What a what a great time for our mighty realm. We're coming close to our endgame goal. Thank you all for watching. What a productive and well for our and actually good holy war, unlike the complete clusterfuck that was yesterday. Thank you to Alchemia, Anthony Gaulis, Sienna Curacao, at most Savage Gamer 419, Baking Kitten, Velik Strongman, Ben Hoffland, Chesty, Chris, Croesus, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogola, Sarik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Nordstrom, Necrophil, and Odie, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Paul. Slippy Nips, I thought I missed a name. Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shay, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Farangon, and William Green for the support of the Insane Tea Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for your support over at Patreon. Much appreciated. Thank you for keeping the channel going. And a thank you, shout out, and all through gratification. What the hell did I just say? To Uwu Daddy, Astro, Anna Person, Adrian Ellison, Alex Bogard, Aiden M, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Artem, Astro, Attila, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Cogzel, Dapper Go, Derek, Don, Dunk 2217, Dylan, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Gray, Haji Dumar, Iron Sagatair, Icy the Great, Irotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Euron DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jobs Lucky Sister, Julie Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plock, Justin Waters, Kevin Saunders, Kane GB, Lepus, Layla, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Martin, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Kamar Ishmael, Bright Ace, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kier, Scap, Shardul, Silkworm, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Supernanny089, Sweetsey, Talar, Tioma, Tony Laban, Volsa, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Cubo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zack, and Setlock 2. Stop for a breath, because that is a lot of names. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Much appreciated. Don't forget to check out that link if you are interested, of course, in the, in the cheap TK2 DLC as well. See you guys all tomorrow for the rest of the Holy Land.